Welcome back to T3G. We're one week away from Black Friday, so let's talk shopping. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Specifically, we're gonna talk about what to buy your friend, significant other, family member. That is into cameras, photo or videography, some stuff to get them started. Now, this is a video channel, so I am gonna focus mainly on video, but a lot of this stuff can also be used with photography, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna give you three devices, each for three separate price points, and let's kick it off with under 25 bucks. Right off the gate, we're gonna talk about this stupid tripod. I actually think they replaced this, so I had to kind of dig deep to find this one. There's a ton of different flexible arm tripods on Amazon, but guess what? This one has been riding hard for me for a long, long time. Uh, I've had a blue one, I've had a green one. Uh, Hottest has two of them, like we have a ton of these. Now, it does initially come with this head, which is fine to start. It's a little bit different, it's got a different mechanism, but still, I think as a starter head, right, even like it's got a, l I mean, like the slightest amount of play. As a starter head, it's fine, but you're gonna get the best experience if you upgrade the head as I did. And of course, I'm gonna have uh, links down below for everything that I think makes this the ultimate version of the tripod. It'll hold anything from a cell phone all the way up to a DSLR. The factory head, probably you're gonna wanna go on the lighter end of the DSLRs, but with the upgrade head, honestly, you could use anything with it. It actually comes in at 15 bucks. It comes with the phone mount. I've actually had this one before. I still have that phone mount. It's actually a really solid phone mount as well. It'll accept a wide range of phones and it's very manual. So you could really set it to whatever angle and direction you want. So if you're a phone shooter between the phone mount and the actual ball head, you can pretty much get whatever angle you're looking for, you can get it. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about, I'm already using, you're listening to it right now, it is the Pop Voice microphone. This, I think, is the most underrated and best bang for your buck lavalier microphone on the market bar none. I have two individual ones of these. I have a dual head version. I've bought multiples because they are so damn good. They are just high quality at a really solid price. I mean, $13.98. I just, I really can't be mad at the price point in any fashion. It comes with multiple windscreens, it comes with the clip and an adapter from TRRS to TRS or vice versa. I always forget how that goes, but basically from the three prong to the two prong, this will work with any computer, any voice recorder and any camera that has the necessary port. I know with some of the newer phones, you're gonna need an adapter. A lot of them come with it, so you're still gonna be able to use that or the adapter is usually like five or six bucks, so it's not that big of a additional, like even with the, even if the adapter costs another $10, we're still under $25. This is a great, great buy. Last stuff for under $25 is the Sute, Sute Photo, Sute Photo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I did a review on this a while back. It is an RGB on camera light. It has multiple cold shoe adapters, so you can actually use it as a, like a splitter basically for the cold shoe. It has a ton of modes, it has a bunch of colors, and it is a really solid light for any recording or shooting situation. It's actually got a magnetic back. It's got type C charging, of course. It has an LED display screen on the back. It has a quarter 20 hole on the bottom. This thing is outstanding, especially at the price point. Looks like it's 20 bucks on sale right now. When I did a review on it, I think it was 30 bucks at the time. So you're getting a better deal than even it was back then. Moving into the under $50 mark, we are first and foremost gonna talk about the Hohem. This thing is honestly really solid. I did a review on this recently. I really liked it. It was one of those Instagram ads or whatever. I ended up buying it for 50 bucks, for 50 bucks. I think it was like, it, go, it goes on sale to like 40 bucks sometimes, but for 50 bucks, you can't beat this. I know it says it's $69.99. I've never seen it at $69.99, but this thing is fantastic. It does a really good job and it has a lot of options as far as orientation of your phone. If you want to play around with any kind of time lapses or anything like that with your phone, this is the thing to buy. Don't spend $100 on the DJI. You're not really getting any major benefit that you don't already have with 50 bucks with the Hohem. It even comes with a nice little pack. It comes with it's USB charging. The remote is separate, so you can actually set it and control it remotely. You can't do that with the DJI. I mean, you, you would need to do it through your phone or you could use the remote, but even this, the app has tracking features. So like, really, there's only a couple things that you're getting for $100, so it is not double the price better, in my opinion. Buy the Hohem if you are a phone shooter, without question. In the light category, we also got to look at the Hafoco, Hafoco. I always, again, another name that I don't know how to pronounce. I also reviewed this a while back. It, for what it is, it is fantastic. Comes with a little tripod. It actually makes it a little easier for me to hold because I'm not holding onto the actual light. So it makes it a lot easier for me to hold. Plus I can then put it down without worrying if it's going to tip over because it's got the tripod actual head. Uh, it's got the tripod adapter on both ends so you can connect other things to it or you can connect it 
to a whole different situation. It's got the screen on the back. It's got all the controls on the back. USB-C charging, RGB. It goes 2,500 to 9,000K under 50 bucks. Not even on sale. If this catches on sale, absolutely get it. Get it just to have. Now, the last item in the 50 and under category is going to be the Sony ICD PX370 voice recorder. I don't have it in hand. I forgot to bring it upstairs, but I have it. It's fantastic. I've done a review on it. I've done a couple other uh, expanded videos on it. It is, I mean, for what it is, this thing is incredible for the value, especially right now it's saying on sale for 50. I don't actually think it was ever 60. I know it says it was 60, but I, I, I don't believe it's ever actually been 60. 50 bucks is where it's at. It is fantastic. It has really good voice quality for even the built-in microphone. And then for the price point, the fact that you are getting, do they not show it? See, that's the thing. They don't, there it is. The fact that you are getting a microphone in for the lav for the $50 price point, ridiculous, ridiculous. This is a starting voice recorder, so you can have something like separate from your camera or your, your actual phone or whatever recording this is huge, especially at the price point. Now we're gonna jump to the up to $100 price point. Here we're gonna get a little wild, but for the mounting solution, because this, this has kind of been a category thing, right? We got a mounting, we got an audio, and we got a lighting solution. For the mounting solution, you know I gotta go with tack form without question. The table clamp slash headrest mount, this thing is ridiculous. This thing will work as a headrest mount in your car. This thing will clamp to any table. And then it's a modular system, so this will become whatever you need it to. I've used this thing on my ceiling, in cars. I've used them to hold up lights, microphones, cameras, everything. I absolutely love Tacform. I am friends with the owner, so I do get some stuff for free here and there, but I'll be very, very honest with you. As soon as I touched the first piece of their hardware, I was like, this is something different. This is something different. I, I, I mean, I didn't know the guy. The guy literally walked into an ice cream shop that I was hanging out at, and he was like, hey, here you guys do the, uh, YouTube channel stuff. Uh, you guys want to see some mounts. And it was phone mounts at the time, and he did some magnetic stuff. I mean, like, my house is literally, literally littered. That was unintentional, but still works. It's littered with the magnet mounts. My phone is always strapped with a tack form plate on the back so that I can attach my phone in my kitchen, on, in my bedroom, on, in the car. Wherever I'm at, I can put my phone onto a magnetic mount from Tacform. All their stuff is fantastic. I mean, I, I could have literally just done a video of just Tacform products at all these different price ranges, and it would have still been valuable for everyone. But for what we're talking about today, this table clamp, I think, is the best bang for your buck. You're going to get the most options. You have the longest arm for the price point, and the clamp is very versatile. It does not have to be a flat surface that you're connected to. It'll mount on a bar. So if you have a tripod, let's say you want to put a microphone on it or a, a monitor for your camera, like this is the arm to do it with. And then you can also flip it and use it for anything else you want. Now on the lighting side of things, you know I got to go with the Waylight K21. I freaking love this thing. Uh, it does everything you could possibly need a light to do and it does it at only seventy dollars it has the screen on the back it's usb-c charged it has the app which you can use it to control and set moods with multiple lights of the waylight so you can connect four or five six of these i think i ended up counting 27 that might be that might be that actually might be shy because i think there's six and i think you do up to 10 per, there's 10 channels six so 60 up to 60 yeah, so 60 different lights you can control from one app, which is ridiculous. But for the under $100 price point, from what I've seen so far, they might even have better options, but this is the spot right now. This looks like it has a 10% off coupon right now, so if you're looking at a really, really solid light for under 100 bucks, this is the joint link down below, of course. And then finally, in the audio recording category of this price point, we have the H1N Zoom H1N voice recorder, uh, fantastic device, fantastic device. It has a, I mean, outstanding microphone on the body. Uh, it is, I don't want to say that it is double the quality, but the fact that it gives you a USB cable to connect to your computer, as opposed to having to plug in the actual voice recorder like you do with the uh, Sony, I think that does bring up the value quite a bit. Uh, it is really solid, really quality. It has a quarter 20 slot on the back, so you could attach it to any quarter 20 mount, and it is precisely $100. I know it, it has been 120, but I haven't seen it be 120 in 
since it came out, honestly. And I think even when it came out, it ended up being 109. Like they dropped 10 bucks off right as soon as it came out. So 100 bucks is gonna be the price point for this. And I really, really honestly think it's worth it. I use, I've used this at conventions. I've used this in like it live in public. If you get yourself an appropriately sized windscreen for this, you could you can do, and I have done full on interviews with this in crowded situations and get really, really, really quality sound. So as always, links down below for everything I've talked about, including all the additional stuff that I mentioned. I'm gonna be doing a video on the camera recording side of things for Tuesday, so you can kind of have some information beforehand. So make sure you are subscribed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.